Hi. In this video, we're going to look at the B942 keypad from Bosch. The keypad is the way you interact with your alarm system. Think of it as the screen, the keyboard, and the mouse of your alarm system. So let's get started. This is the Bosch B942 keypad. It's a rectangular keypad with a wide bezel surrounding a touchscreen. The wide bezel can either be black, like this one, or in white, and it has the Bosch logo above it. The keypad can either be programmed to turn on when it senses a person in front of it, or it might require you to touch the screen to activate it. We have this one set up to be on constantly, but most graphic keypads are not set to be continuously on. To the left of the screen is a power indicator light. On the top left of the touchscreen is the feature key, which is programmed from your alarm company. The most common feature key is language select. For example, I can press this button, change the language to Spanish, and change it back to English. The B942 has indicator lights on the left side of the touchscreen. The first indicator is a check mark. If it's lit up green, that means all the points are normal and the alarm system is ready to be armed. Second indicator is a padlock. If it's lit up solid red, that means the alarm is armed. Bolting any point will trip the alarm. If it's red and flashing, that means there is an active alarm. The third indicator is a triangle with an exclamation point. If it's lit up yellow, that means that there is a malfunctioning alarm device, what we call a trouble. The screen will give you a trouble message Write this message down and contact your alarm company right away. The fourth indicator is the word gas. If it is flashing blue, you have a carbon monoxide leak and you should evacuate the premises immediately. It's important to note that not all alarm systems have a carbon monoxide detector installed and connected to the alarm system. The last indicator is a power plug. If it's solid blue, your alarm system has AC power and battery backup power. If it's flashing blue, your alarm system is running on backup power and only has a few hours of operation left. Contact your alarm company if your alarm system is ever running on battery backup power for over an hour, as the battery may need to be serviced or replaced. The main screen shows you the state of the alarm. A green circle with an open padlock means the alarm is ready to arm. A yellow circle with an open padlock means that there is an alarm sensor that is open and the alarm is not ready to arm. A red circle with a closed padlock means the alarm is fully armed. A yellow circle with a closed padlock means the alarm is part on. Part on is a feature that allows you to only arm certain devices on the system. For example, arming all the doors and windows while leaving the motion detectors disarmed. A red circle with a siren icon means that the system is in alarm. This is the ribbon bar. Starting from the left, this is the home button, which takes you to the main screen. This is previous and next. This is how you navigate through your options on the menu. This is escape, which will bring you back to the previous level of a menu. This is the shortcuts button, which allows you to access functions you use the most. Your alarm company programs these buttons for you, so if you want a new shortcut, contact your alarm company. For example, under our shortcuts, we have all on selected, viewpoint status, reset sensors, and turn off selected areas. Pressing the home button will bring us back to the main screen. These three dots access the menu. This key brings up the number pad. If your alarm company has programmed an emergency button to call for police or fire, this is where the emergency button would be programmed. This is the help button, which displays instructions about, whether, about whatever you have on your screen. This is the date and time on the system.